I will make you fishers of men, fishers of men, fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. <laughs> All right, so I hope you guys have enjoyed um, the song that we sang and the activity that we did. I want us to begin with a word of prayer. So Lord, we thank you so much for this amazing time that you've allowed us to just uh, join um, join in church and just sing together and hear from you. I pray that Lord, even as we begin, you will walk with us and you will guide us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. How are you? Good morning, kids. Um, Happy New Year. It's the year of 2021 and we thank God that finally all of us have seen a new year and we really, really thank God. So for this year, our theme for the church is Seize the Moment and um, that will also be the me scripture memory that we'll have throughout this month uh, of January and the scripture memory is from the book of Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 15 to verse 16. Pastor Kingsley, do you mind telling us what it says? Oh yes, Pastor Judy, um, uh -huh. Ephesians chapter 5 verses 15 to 16 says, Be very careful how you live, not as unwise, but as, but wise, as wise, yeah, making, making the most of every opportunity, opportunity. for the days are evil. evil. Yeah, so thank you so much, Pastor Kingsley. I hope all of you at home will be able to memorize that, uh, that, that the two verses that we are having for this year. And I hope when we meet, you'll be able to say them comfortably. Yeah, so I want us to share on some of the stories that we are going to have for this month uh, of the people in the Bible who've been able to seize uh, the moment and, and, and who have made the most of the opportunities given to them by God. And one of the stories that we are going to see today is in the book of um, Matthew about these four great people uh, who, who are also the disciples of Jesus Christ. We have Peter, we have Andrew, we have John, and we have James. So let me just dive into the reading. Uh, I want you to open your Bibles in the book of Matthew chapter, chapter 4 from verse 18 and verse 22. So I will read it and it says, As Jesus was walking beside the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the lake, for they were fishermen. Come, follow me, Jesus said, and I will send you out to fish for people. At once they left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with their father, Zebedee, preparing their nets. Jesus called them, and immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. They followed Jesus. So, Pastor Kingsley, do you think these four people seized the moment? They did. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> they they okay. Did. I mean... They will have chosen to just go back home or continue doing with their own things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but they continued. Okay. And uh, they decided to leave everything and yeah. they followed Jesus Christ. Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is really amazing. Yeah. yeah. So how, how do you think we can apply it at home? Uh, it's, it could be various things. First of all, I believe uh, the first thing we can be able to do is uh, we can, if, if Jesus, Christ, Jesus Christ asks you to do something, mm -hmm. uh, you, you do it. Uh, for example, maybe Jesus Christ is asking you this year, uh, to give your life to him, uh, what do you do? Uh, you receive him. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if, for example, you're in your house and, um, and you know maybe God is using your parents and they are telling you to do something, you are supposed to obey. Maybe mm -hmm. it's to wash utensils, maybe it is to you know, do your homework. Mm -hmm. So there are very many things that mm -hmm. actually we can do just to abandon whatever we want to do mm -hmm. and just follow what Christ is telling us. Yeah. Yes. Like these two sons, I'm amazed when I think about the sons of Zebedee, James uh, and his brother John. They even left their father. <laughs> <laughs> now that's tough. 
Now yeah. that's very tough. Uh-huh. It's, it's, uh-huh. uh, it's, it shows that actually that we are supposed to pr- prioritize Jesus Christ above anybody else. Mm-hmm. That whatever Jesus asks us to do, we are supposed to obey him fully, mm-hmm. no matter who or what else that mm-hmm. we've always held to be so important in mm-hmm. our lives. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, wow, wow. Yeah. So kids <laughs> out there, I hope you've, you've, you've heard... Um, we are called to obey Jesus. We are called to follow him. That is part of seizing the moment. Once he speaks, once he calls us um, to action, we leave everything and we follow Jesus. Yeah. So for this, uh, for this, for this week, as as you begin uh, your week and as you go back to school, I want you to look for the different things that Jesus is asking you to do. And just, I want you to make a list. Every, every time Jesus tells you to do something, just write it down. And then if you do it, then tick it. If you don't do it, then don't tick it. Yes. And in the course of the week, just see how you've, how you've been able to follow Jesus and how you've been able to obey. And if it's, if it's okay with you, you can also share with your friends um, to just do this challenge and see whether they can actually follow Jesus fully in the course of the week. And I hope you continue being kind to your parents and to your teachers and to your friends. And I want you to enjoy this fantastic year. May it be a year that is full of life, full of prosperity. And learn to obey Jesus. Learn to to walk with him. Learn to follow him because it is worth it. So yeah, so thank you kids. Enjoy your day and have a lovely Sunday. Thank you. God bless you. Happy New Year. Yeah, Happy New Year. So let's pray, kids. Uh, Dear Lord, we come before you this morning. We just thank you so much for the lesson today, how you encourage us to leave everything else and follow you. We pray that, Lord, you be with us even as we start the week in school. May you bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.